Good morning people. Today I have brought you the deal of the century and the deal of the century is the Karchuk K2 Compact. Why is it the deal of the century you might ask? Well, it is a deal because, I'll start with this, poor old Wilco is going under and that is bad, I know that's bad, but for someone that's looking for a bargain it is actually quite good. But if we go on the Wilco website we will see we don't have the K2 Compact on their website. But if you pop down to the store I am not joking with you, this is the picture of on the till. The Karcher K2 is £30 with £6 off. This pressure washer, I paid £24. I paid £24 for this pressure washer. And I bought two of them. This is the receipt, obviously I can't show you all of it because it's got my car details on it. But Karcher K2 Compact, it was 60 down to 30 and because I got two of them, I then got £12 off of it here. I also got some flash soap as well. So, £24 for a pressure washer. You will not find that anywhere else like that. I mean, if you go on the Karcher website, it is £90. On the Argos website, it is £72. I did the Argos website twice and obviously, for some reason, I can't find it on the Wilco website. I can only find... The, the kit, you know, with the patio cleaner and like some shampoo with it. So yeah, pop down to pop down to Wilco. If you can find it for £24, buy it. Even before I review it, buy it because that is so cheap and you will not find it anywhere else for that price. But let's carry on with the actual review. So let's open it up and get everything out. So this is everything out of the box now, and we're going to start with the product product registration. And you do get a 24 month warranty with it, regardless of where you buy it from, you will still keep the warranty, but you must register it online. See, register your product online now and you will keep the warranty with it. But for the gun itself, this has the different type of connectors on it. So with these ones, you will squeeze and pull up. There you go, just like that. And to put these in, you will just Push that in like so, and push that back. Now it's not coming out, and that is the same on the pressure washer as well. So this one's already been pushed up, and then we'll push that in like that, and push that down. So there we go, that is it, as easy as that to connect it. A lot of the other Karcher products is usually like a push connector, so you push it in and push in, but this one is different. We then have the patio cleaning uh, uh, nozzle for it, and the same as all the other Karchers. Push it in and twist and there you go it is on and then this is your pressure washer attachment with this one what i didn't realize before i bought it you can't actually adjust this on the other cartridge products there is a nozzle here that you can twist and you can adjust it if you wanted it harder or softer but with this one you don't it's just one setting although that is a flatted in there i'll be interested to see if i turn it what would actually happen i'm going to try it just to be easy you probably shouldn't do it i'm going to do it anyway and again just twist and it's on like that and the trigger has a lock on it so that is unlocked and then you push that out and now the trigger is locked push it in and there you go so yeah that's pretty much it so let's go outside and see if it's any good but just to show you the difference in cable length the cable length on the k2 compact is around four meters and on the k4 it is around five and a half meters so i've got these two together just to show you what the difference is for the price so let's start off by the pressure test. So with the Karch K2, I have got the nozzle attached. But as I said, I did try and adjust this with a screwdriver because it's a flathead, but it's not moving. And where it's plastic, I really don't want to see like I've damaged the end of that trying to do it. So no, just clarify, you can't adjust it. So does it still? Right, so let's see how far it can push this watering can across the garden. And then I'll do it with the K4. There you go. Got to. So I've got a little marker out there for the K2. This is the K4. So if I bring the camera. So to be fair, even on full pressure, it only got probably a meter further because that was where it went last time. So the K4 is only slightly more powerful considering it costs about 200 pounds more. So from my previous videos, I know that the K4 will take just over two minutes to fill this bucket. So let's see how long the K2 takes. So three, two, one. So the bucket is now full and that has taken just under two and a half minutes. What I will say, the cartridge is just right next to it and it does smell a bit burny. 
can't say it doesn't, doesn't smell too great, but nevertheless, it wasn't actually that much slower than the K4. So yeah, that did pretty well there. So I'm using the K2 with the pressure washer head and these tiles I didn't actually clean too long ago, but there is a lot of bird droppings and like berries because the tree above it has berries on it. So I'm gonna clean it using this attachment and this attachment and then I'll use the K4 on these two just to show you the difference. So here you go. So to remove some of the berries, I did have to hold that extremely close to it. So let me put the other attachment on it. So this is actually for patio cleaning or tile cleaning or whatever, for whatever. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's actually a lot. that did really well I don't think I actually need to use the car I'll use the K4 on this square just to show you so here there is a small speck here that this isn't getting off too well so it does get it off in the end but you have to hold it pretty close so let me find a similar one and I'll use the K4 on that one so this is now the K4 with the same attachment <laughs> So to be fair, all that really shows is that the K2 does do the job, but the K4 does it a hell of a lot easier. So I've got the K2 here, but this time I'm actually using the adjustable head that comes with the K4. So let's see if it actually does adjust the pressure or not. <laughs> quite good that you can use the original car to adjustable heads on the K2 which is quite good. But for cleaning your car I think this is what you're going to use it for. So firstly we're going to start with the wheels and we'll see how much of the dirt this can get off in one go. Do you know what I don't think it's done too well there because you see here it hasn't actually but if I go like that so you see that my finger marks, that's not doing very well. Yeah, maybe I'm being a bit harsh on it, but that hasn't taken off any of that dirt here. Like, <laughs> so let's see if it can do better when I actually clean it and when I foam it up. So to test out how well it foams up, I'm gonna be using the Auto Glim Lance because it is the most readily available one. And I've got 700 ml of water and I'm going to add 200 ml of the Halfords Snow Foam. I know that this isn't the correct amount. I should be using 500 to 100 of this, but that's what I'm doing for this video. Right, so that is now the wheels cleaned, and to be honest, that cable, the power cable, and the water cable are far too short. You have to keep walking it around, which is quite annoying. But nevertheless, we've got the snow foam launch ready. Let's see how good this is. <laughs> is not bad actually that is actually pretty good you know 
I mean, it's a little bit runny. Obviously, there is better lances you can use and better snow foams. But for a cheap pressure washer, that's actually pretty good. Look, you can see it's already running off quite quickly. But uh, I, this will give me a chance to use the quick tips, you know, the short tips. So let's see how good these are. Job. Do you know the other issue that you've actually got? That is really noisy. That is really noisy. My K4 is not as loud as that. I don't know, it doesn't matter if you've got no neighbours, but obviously you've got to be a little bit considerate, haven't you? So the good thing is it, it is pretty light, but honestly, it doesn't smell too healthy. It actually smells like it's burning. Yeah, it doesn't smell too great, but... Regardless, it does do the job, it's just I have to move it. I could just about get the other side, so I have to move it to get to here, to the back, to the other side. So the cables are just too short, but its performance is actually pretty good. So that is the car cleaned, obviously I've still got to dry it, but you know what, that actually did quite a uh, quite a good job. Just again, you have to keep moving it. But it definitely smells of burning. I'm not sure why, but it definitely doesn't smell too good. And uh, yeah, I've got a little hack by the way, so you know like when you this is all covered in soap and stuff like that, you just put your hand over it. <laughs> Might get a little bit wet, but it does get all the suds off the gun pretty easily. Yeah, there's my little hack for you. But yeah, I think it's actually done a really good job. So then, what are my final thoughts of the Karcher K2 Compact? And first thing I'm going to say, if you can go to Wilco and you can find it for £24, buy it, 100% get it, because you're not going to find a cheaper pressure washer for as good performance, especially with a two-year guarantee. So I'm doing this video as if it was £71, which is the cheapest I can find it online, except for a refurb one, which is £45. So this video is if I bought it for £71. So I'm going to start with the bad stuff first. And the bad stuff is, as I kept saying in the video, this hose is too short and so is the power cord. That is by far the worst thing about it is that. Something else that is quite annoying, like on here I'm looking at going, oh that looks quite compact, you know, because it's called a K2 compact. But if you put this on here, it doesn't actually clip, like on here it's all nice, neat and tidy, but this is actually the best you're going to get it because it doesn't latch on to anything. And with the power cord, you would have to wrap it round and... On the back, which is actually a good point, these do actually clip in quite nicely on to the back, like that. But then you are left with the gun, you haven't really got anywhere to put it, so I guess you have to put it up there. But it is nice and light, so that does make it easy for storage. But my main concern with it is the smell. It does smell of burning, you know, the whole time I was using it, you could, it's not the occasional whiff of burning, it just constantly smells of burning. Obviously there was nothing wrong with it, it didn't actually feel too hot, and it performed quite well, so maybe that's just the characteristic of it but for its actual usage i'm not too sure why you would use it for patio cleaning because it's not strong enough for that purpose so if you are using it for patio cleaning sorry if you want to get a pressure washer for patio cleaning this isn't the one for you i'd recommend you get something a bit more powerful this would work for a couple little bits that you need to just tidy up but not for a full-on pressure wash of your patio now for the cleaning wand i am not the biggest fan of this it does do the job not knocking it for that, it does do the job, but personally I would use a different attachment for it. I'd probably use one of the short tips for it. But this does work, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. For the gun itself, for firming up, it did really well. You know, well, that's the pressure wash, but it did really well. So for cleaning your car, it is actually really good. So what are my final conclusion of it? It is if you clean your car once a week, then this isn't the pressure washer for you. I'd recommend you get yourself something a bit more powerful with longer cables and a bit more user friendly. But if you only clean your car once a month, then this is perfect because then moving it around isn't a problem because you only do it once a month. And if you're looking to use it to clean up your garden, then I wouldn't recommend it because it's just not powerful enough for that reason. But nevertheless, it is a good 
budget compact pressure washer. So would I recommend it for £70? Yes, of course I would. So hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching.